Hello, I'm Christian Spalding. I'm an interventional cardiologist working at the European Hospital Georges Pompidou, University Paris Cité in Paris, France. The uh, rationale of the study is that uh, drug eluting stents are used in the vast majority of uh, PCIs with well known immediate and midterm results. Uh, however, long term studies have shown that there's an adverse event rate of 2 to 4% per year that is due to the presence of the uh, stent in the artery, causing late stent, very late stent thrombosis or a formation of new plaques. So therefore, a minimal stenting approach with the drug-coated balloons is uh, uh, desirable. Uh, the results that we have obtained up to now with the pachytaxel eluding uh, balloons has been uh, mixed, and sirolimus has been limited uh, for the use on uh, uh, drug-coated balloons uh, because of technical problems. Uh, the solution uh, SCB, a solu sirolimus eluding balloon, is a new generation uh, device uh, that uh, incorporates uh, several new technologies that enable a 90-day delivery of uh, the uh, drug, which is similar uh, to what is seen with uh, the uh, Limus drug eluding stents. And therefore, the solution de novo study was designed to assess the efficacy uh, of the uh, solution uh, sirolimus eluding a balloon. We randomized in an open label, uh, multi-center uh, randomized uh, trial over 3,300 patients with wide inclusion and exclusion criteria, including patients with uh, vessel sizes from two to five. Patients could be treated on several lesions. Uh, we only excluded patients with STEMI or high-risk non-STEMI, chronic total occlusion, instant restenosis, or lesions on uh, venous or arterial uh, grafts. Patients were randomized to, to two, group, two groups, two strategies, and this is important because randomization was done before the procedure and before vessel preparation. The first group received a serolimus eluding uh, balloon treatment with provisional stenting if needed, and the second group was treated with systematic DES. Our uh, primary endpoint at one year is target vessels failure, a composite of uh, uh, target vessel-related myocardial infarction, a clinically driven target uh, vessel revascularization, and cardiac death. And this was assessed for non-inferiority at one year. We also will have a five-year follow-up where we will then again assess non-inferiority, and if non-inferiority is met, we will assess for superiority. At one year, we reached non-inferiority with 5.5% target vessel failure rate in the SEB strategy group, 4.5% in the DES strategy group, and this difference is significant with a p-value of 0.02. Therefore, non-inferiority was met at one year. Stenting was used in approximately 20% of the patients in the SEB strategy group. And when we evaluated for subgroups, we noted an interaction in two subgroups, patients with high bleeding risk, uh, where uh, the interaction seemed in favor of the SEB group uh, and uh, patients uh, with uh, calcifications, moderate or severe calcifications, where then again, uh, interaction seemed to be in favor of the uh, SEB group. Of utmost importance, uh, the um, safety uh, endpoints uh, uh, were similar in both groups with very low rates uh, of acute and subacute uh, uh, lesion thrombosis. Well, the take-home message is, is that uh, if uh, you uh, have a lesion that can be treated either by a sirolimus eluding a balloon or by a DS, and you have to choose, you want to choose between two strategies, and you choose the uh, SEB uh, strategy, this strategy is safe with a very low rate of uh, lesion uh, thrombosis, and uh, 
you will end up with no stent in 80% of uh, cases. Uh, this can be applied to a wide uh, range of patients and a wide range of uh, lesions uh, in uh, clinical practice. Follow-up is ongoing for five years, and uh, we will reassess for non-inferiority uh, at uh, five years. And if non-inferiority is reached, we will reach, we will test for superiority.